Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Vapros Nunchuck and V-Spot. So stay tuned. Both these products were provided by Vapros Europe, and I will be providing the link below. First impressions are very important, so mine are that as soon as I got this in my hand, this thing felt very, very solid and well made. The other thing is the visual impact. This is an Italian design device, and it really does look very, very nice to me. Again, um, looks, taste, things like that are subjective, but to me, this is a very, very good looking device. So let's take a close look. My nunchuck came in this box. You could see maybe Bruce Lee is on there or somebody else who's proficient with <laughs> nunchucks and it does sort of look like a nunchuck. This is the packaging that the battery came in. It was wrapped up in this nice little uh, maybe microfiber cloth. I'll go ahead and put this aside. It also came with a charging cable, micro USB on one side, standard USB plug on the other. Also some documentation. The tank here comes with um, the tank. Um, where's the box? Here's the box. I'm trying to keep the nunchuck from rolling away. It also came with two atomizers. One's installed which I believe is the 1.5 ohm already pre-installed in there. And they also give you a 1.8 ohm um, atomizer. These are uh, bottom dual coil atomizers. So we'll see how those perform here very shortly. So, uh, Vapros Vision. This is a company that's been around since 2007. They didn't just crop up today. And they're known for the Ego Clear Miser, the Vivi Nova, the Spinner, the Spinner 2. Um, so they're, they're not a company that just sort of cropped up. They're well known for some very good products out there. Um, and again, Vapros Europe was kind enough to send me this, which I do really appreciate. And I will, um, saying it again, have uh, put the link below for your convenience. Um, Vapros Europe is the official representative of the Vision Group in Europe. I think they just uh, became a representative so for anybody in Europe, if you're looking to purchase a Vision device or Vapros device, uh, go ahead and check their website out. So let's focus on the battery first. This battery is obviously yellow. I like the color. I'm glad they sent me this color. But it also comes in black, stainless, uh, blue, red, purple, brown, gold, and I think there are some others too out there. They also have a version 2 of this where they have different patterns on here like a, it looks like an, an Asian inspired one I see a skull there and a couple of others so there's really something out there to suit your visual needs the length of this device is 5.1 inches or 129.5 millimeters diameter is 0.8 inches at its widest or 20 millimeters this device is compatible with both 510 and Ego threads which is really cool because when you look at this it just looks like 510 right there but there's a beauty ring here that really is beautiful <laughs> and it feels like it's made really really solid um, also if you look at that but once you take that off you can see you could put a ego device on there as well as a 510 another thing really cool about this device is it has a spring-loaded pin right there I'm not sure if you can see that but it's self-adjusting so if you have a, a, a tank that has a, a shorter pin or longer pin or whatever, this thing can adjust it. You don't have to um, screw and unscrew things and make it adjust or just be screwed and not have anything work when you put your device on there. Now, this device is variable wattage. Not variable voltage, variable wattage. So you can adjust this all the way down, which I think I have it right now at six watts and that is kind of a little bit hard to see that's one of the cons I have for this device the the wattage here 
is hard to read and you have a little indicator here what you have it set to but you can go from 6 watts in 1 watt increments all the way up to 18 watts and then whatever you set your wattage to the battery will figure out based on your atomizers ohm rating and the wattage you set in watt voltage to go, uh, send through the device so really nice very easy to use if I had a choice of whether to have a dial for voltage or wattage I would choose wattage um, the battery inside here is 2000 milliamp hours and that battery does not rattle in this device I picked up like devices various devices in my um, vaping life and some of them have a rattle in there this has no rattle again it just feels so so solid minimum resistance of coil you cannot go below uh, one ohm one ohm is the minimum resistance so for those of you who are sub ohm only vapors this is not the device for you um, this device also has pass through functionality so if your battery has gone down you could go ahead and utilize the USB cable plug it in and then continue the vape although it would be a little awkward because the cable comes on or uh, plugs it on the side you remove this little rubber cover here that protects the plug very small by the way easy to lose by the way that's another con but um, micro USB right there charge the battery up speaking of charging you have five little LEDs right here which in 20 percent increments will indicate to you what the battery's charge is and I'll show that off here in a second so this also has a short circuit protection atomizer protection basically the um, indicator will flash 10 times if there's a problem also you uh, has a lock and unlock feature so you can see right now this device is locked I press the button nothing's happening to unlock this device you press it the fire button five times one two three four five you can see it does a little blinky blinky and then when you fire it it indicates what percentage of battery you are at so right now I'm at approximately 80 percent this device also features a uh, cutoff feature so if the button were held in it would cut off after 18 seconds preventing a fire <laughs> and also this device comes with a 12 month warranty so that's about everything that covers the battery so let's go ahead and move on to the v-spot again very very nice looking the drip tip is pretty cool it actually feels a little soft to the touch although it's not soft it's hard it, I don't know it just has an interesting feel very nice rounded edges a lot of thought went into this drip tip and it's removable so you can if so desired put your own drip tip in there pretty standard go ahead and pop this back in I really like the way that this feels now this uses a dual bottom coil there's the uh, other one in there and has tempered Pyrex glass for the tank the length of this device is 70.8 millimeter diameter is 18 millimeter capacity is 2 milliliters resistance again the 1.5 ohm atomizer that's installed in the 1.8 that comes in the packaging and here's the really strange thing the threading to this device is ego you know normally when you see a tank like this it's 510 this is ego threaded kind of interesting very different so what I'm gonna go ahead now and do is fill this up with some juice I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, click I'm sorry lick juicy chew I chose this because I like the way it tastes and the bottles the same color time to fill this up We'll go ahead and unscrew this. By the way, the um, there is no airflow control in this device. That's something I would like to see in the next version. There's your atomizer right there. Um, nice gasket right there also. Again, it just feels very solid. It feels like it was well engineered. If I feel like they they had a designer design something really cool, and that they went to somebody who knows how to manufacture quality 
you know, devices. So, I think they really did a good job. By the way, I did not mention price here. So, we'll have to do that. Now, though, here's another thing that I could call a con. you got to look way, way down in there to see the stem. It's very hard to see. So, you could very easily overfill this device if your eyesight is terrible. So, I'll go ahead and just put a little bit in there. But, um, price, price. This costs... Um, 9.95 euros, 9.95 9 euros, which is the equivalent of $11.75. And I didn't mention what the battery runs. The Numchuck battery, right here, runs 29.95 euros, or about $35.75 if we were talking US dollars. Now I'm going to go ahead and let that atomizer um, get primed up. Just let it sit there for a little bit and then we'll go ahead and try it out. By the way, if you're here in the U.S. and you want to order from Vapros Europe, you can. They will ship. Um, expect it to cost 9 euros for shipping, which is the equivalent of $10.70. So I went ahead and took the beauty ring off. So it exposes the ego threading right there. We'll go ahead and put this on. And again, it just looks sexy. <laughs> I just really, really like the way this looks. I, and if you go outside with this thing, it is definitely going to uh, get some attention, especially to someone who vapes. Now I have this dialed all the way down. We'll go ahead and start it at its lowest setting, which is 8 watts, and see how well it does. I think I already turned this on. Again, you can see I am at 80%. This is not the first time I've tried this battery, by the way. I was using other devices on it, the uh, Nautilus Aspire uh, Mini, which does very well on here also, just to see how it does. But this is the first time I'm trying the V-Spot tank. Um, from what I understand, because the air channel inside it is so constricted and small, it um, really lets that flavor um, come through so we'll, we'll see if that's true okay that's the first draw and uh, I can tell you right now flavor is very good um, the airflow is a little constrictive on the constrictive side it's not wide wide open so if you're someone who likes that that airflow just to you know fill your lungs immediately it's not going to do that it's somewhere between like medium and tight as far as airflow and again I don't think this does adjust so that's what it is okay so that is the lowest setting so let's see what is between 8 and 18 watts um, I'm going to have to do math. I'll tell you what, I'm going to set this to 12 watts and we'll see how that does. By the way, I love the button. It's a, a nice large button, not your average looking button, and it has a nice solid click and it, you know, it doesn't bottom out mushy. It's just a good solid button. Again, a lot of thought went into this device. Okay, I can immediately feel that it is warmer and there's even more flavor. So the device is definitely working when you turn it. It is increasing the wattage. Um, now, how do you determine what to set it at? You know, that is all up to your taste, your preference. But obviously you don't want to crank it up so much that now all of a sudden you're tasting burnt stuff. You know, where your, your throat is getting burnt. <laughs> <laughs> because it's burning something in there. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to 18 watts. And let's see how that does. Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, I did feel, I, I sort of cut short because I felt a little burn in my throat from whatever's in here. By the way, I am vaping zero nicotine. 
So I think for the atomizer that's in here, maybe 12. I'm going to go ahead and let this soak for a second. The way a lot of devices vary the amount of wattage, because you have a battery in there that by nature puts out a certain amount, and when you have a device that you can select different settings, the power has to be adjusted somehow, and the way the electronics does that, at least in the case of this battery, is um, pulse modulation. And if you were to look at it on an oscilloscope, you would see a wave. And certain devices will do that faster than others, and there'll be more space between those waves than other. And I think this is one that's on the slower side, because you could actually hear like a rattlesnake kind of sound. I'm going to go ahead and hold this up to the mic so you could hear it. This way you could get an idea of what's going on in this device. Okay, one thing I like about this device, I usually am not a lung um, sucker. I want to <laughs> explain it. You know, some people, they fill up their mouth and then breathe it in. Other people just lung hit, where they just take everything straight up in their lungs. Um, sometimes on video, I'll go ahead and do a lung hit just to show that big cloud. But um, you... I think that this device, as far as airflow is concerned, is preferred probably more by somebody who likes to take in the vape in their mouth and then breathe it in, which is the way I used to smoke cigarettes when I smoked cigarettes before I quit. Sort of like that. So, I like this a lot. I am absolutely impressed the flavor is really good the drip tip everything about this is really really well made nice the pros Italian design pretty well built solid everything functions great simple to use because of the wattage when you do voltage you have to start figuring out Ohm's law and math and stuff with this you just it, it does it all based on whatever wattage that you um, put on the little dial on the bottom so it's simple to use cons little little cover here gets lost easily I wish they uh, maybe would have put something that sort of holds and connects it and airflow for the v-spot I think they could have or maybe in the next version they could put something where you could select what type of airflow you desire so it's good for everybody um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more vape here before we wrap things up. Okay, so you can see it vapes very, very well, and I'm very happy with it. And I uh, appreciate uh, Vape Pros Europe for sending this to me because I like this device. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.